how to transport computer files. If you want to transfer a file between one computer, say the one you use at work, and another computer, maybe the one you've got at home, there are several options, both physical and online. The first and most obvious option is email the files to yourself. Various free email services will allow you to send and receive a reasonable size of file. Google's Gmail allows you to attach up to 20 megabytes while you have 2 gigabytes of inbox to receive it. Meanwhile, Yahoo gives you a 10 megabyte attachment size, but you have unlimited storage in your inbox. The second internet option is online storage. The best of these is probably Media Max, which you can find at www.mediamax.com. Once you've signed up for an account, you'll get 25 gigabytes of storage, although you can only upload files that are less than 10 megabytes at any one time. While 10 megabytes is more than enough for most files, if you need more, you can pay for an account. You currently get up to 1,000 gigabytes for about $30 a month. That's around £15, although prices are changing all the time. If you have a Yahoo email address, you can use your Yahoo login to access your own briefcase. Search for it on the main Yahoo page, which gives you access to 30 megabytes of space for free. The only downside with online storage is that it may not be suitable for the most sensitive or private files, as while this method is at least as secure as email, there's always a slim chance that either your password or your logins could fall into the wrong hands. The most secure option is to copy the file onto a physical storage medium that you can carry around with you. Assuming your computer has a drive that can burn them, a CD is a great option and will hold around 750 megabytes of information while a DVD will hold around 3.5 gigabytes. If you need more, you can always buy a flash memory chip that goes up to about 10 gigabytes in size, or external hard disks, which currently run up to several hundred gigabytes in space. Bear in mind that while Macs can read both Mac and PC formatted drives, a PC can only read a PC formatted drive. So, for maximum compatibility, format your drive on a PC even if you use a Mac, as you never know when you'll need to grab a file from a PC.